Congress is set to pass sweeping military criminal justice reform legislation. It would take sexual assault investigations out of the hands of the defendant's chain of command and turn it over to professional prosecutors. And Mike Gooding reports the idea has the backing of top Pentagon leaders. We are focused on sexual assault. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin for the first time said this week that he will support long debated changes to the military's justice system that would remove decisions on prosecuting sexual assault cases from military commanders. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, concurred, saying that sexual assault needs to be dealt with in a new way. Uh, because the data shows that we haven't moved the needle to solve that problem. It's a very significant problem for cohesion of the force, and we've lost the trust and confidence of the, of the lower-ranking troops in it. The leader's remarks came as momentum built on Capitol Hill to force their hand. New York Senator Kristen Gillibrand's bill would put decisions about how to handle serious crimes like rape in the hands of independent military prosecutors. Her Military Justice Improvement and Increasing Prevention Act has a veto-proof majority, more than 60 supporters in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans alike. But a key Democrat, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed, the chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, is blocking a quick vote wanting the legislation to go through the traditional committee process instead. Senate Armed Services Committee member Tim Kaine of Virginia says the time to act on sexual assault in the military is long past due. Well, the sad reality is in the eight years, you know, since my first defense authorizing bill, we haven't moved the needle in a way that anybody can be proud of. The most recent report from the Department of Defense estimated that almost 21,000 service members were sexually assaulted in 2018. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And this week, Speaker Nancy Pelosi vowed to bring up the legislation for a vote in the House where she said it will pass. 